My old brand sucked at life. Welcome to the Automation Mastery Podcast. This is your host, Justin Morgan of AutomationMastery.net. Here to help you automate your business, master your destiny, and maximize your impact. Let's get to the episode. Let's chat. Now, some of you don't know, Automation Mastery was not the initial brand that I put all my effort and energy into. I mean, I've been through a bunch of different ventures, you know, trying different businesses online and making money online. I've, I've done plenty of those different things, but it's not the first brand that I actually have dove into that's 100% mine. The original brand that I worked on was called New Future Builder. And it was this concept that I wanted to help build a new future, right? And that could have been through any means. So it wasn't very specific. Uh, again, very broad, right? And this idea that I wanted to help business, I wanted to help grow businesses, I want to help grow people, I want to help grow communities, I want to help grow the world. Um, and I just wasn't sure really how or specifically how I wanted to do it. So I started kind of broad. And I mean, that, that works in some way, shape, or form. And at that time, um, now that I think back, there were some ways that I still could have done well with the brand. The problem I was really having was monetizing it. Because I was looking at it more as a brand that would need to be a business instead of it just being a vanity brand, which is what I really should have kept it at as. It's really just, it's it's a brand for a YouTube channel and a network of content. Like, and that's that's really what it is. And I've kind of come to grips with that now. Um, and because sometimes I will revisit that brand and at the end of the day, it's really the parent brand uh, as, as I get to more corporate structure talk. Um, that'll always be the bigger brand, just a parent brand that'll then own some of these other things that get launched. Um, but at, at that point in time, again, I was I was deep in the new future builder thing, um, motivation, mindset, all those things were a part of that brand. It's really what I talked about when I talked in person and did talks and speeches and trainings. Now, and I kind of touched on it, was the problem was it wasn't really making me money. And I didn't really know what to do. So I, again, still in the midst of growing this brand, trying to get on stages and get in that work and find ways to monetize this thing and get some help in making some money with it. And I ran into, and I went to an event, and some folks have heard the story before, I went to an event um, based off of somebody's suggestion, right? Somebody told me about these two guys who do these online events in the area, told me to check them out. I checked them out, um, came back around and and went to one of their events and ended up speaking at the event. So I paid to play, spoke at the event. And I just had this feeling at that point in time that I knew I needed to be in with them, right? I knew I needed to get on their side of the table, network with them, learn what they knew because they were able to fill out this room and get people online watching this event. So I knew what I needed to do at that point in time, regardless of whether it was going to be New Future Builder or what have you, I was going to find a way to take things to the new level. And so I uh, just want to just kind of set back here real quick, put a little bookmark there in that story before I finish and just understand that and, and you don't know this now, half of the battle to success is putting the pole down in the mar- or putting your marker down at the destination in which you know you want to arrive. When you're driving on a trip, when you're going somewhere new, when you're going somewhere you don't understand or know how to get there, you take out your GPS and you put a marker down for the destination. And you declare that is the place you're going to go. Like no matter what, that's the place you're going to go. And I find it. I found it and there's other stories for this, but I found that the times where I have put my marker, right, in something tangible, something I can predict, the times I do put my marker in places where I want to be, or people I want to meet, or places I want to go, 
something I want to be a part of. If I place my marker there, so far, I've reached the destination. And I don't do this very often, so I don't, I don't do it with everything, right? But there are certain things I place my marker, and I know I'm going to get it. And I get it. And so for you, if there's something that you want, like I wanted something in this scenario, you got to place your marker, right? you got to place your marker and then be relentless and strategic in the way in which you get after it. There'll be some sacrifices, some things that you will have to do that's uncomfortable. I can tell you other stories in the future, but essentially place that marker and go after it. Because this was me placing my marker. I said, I'm going to get in with these guys. However I can do it, I'm going to get in with these guys. And so after that event, I started on my journey. I hit go on GPS and I went after these guys, right? And so I worked my way in. That'll be another thing. I'm actually going to be doing a training on this um, this weekend. So whatever you're hearing this, but this weekend I'll be doing a special training on this. Um, closed training, so it's not open to everybody. Um, and just telling this story, it's how this happened. But at the end of the day, I set my marker and then I get in. I get the opportunity and I get in with these guys and now I'm working with them. I'm working for them, ish, kind of with them, right? And because of that, right, because I did that, I got a chance to learn from them. Now, I wasn't sure again, at that point in time that I got in with them what was going to happen. I just knew I needed to get there. And whatever fate, destiny, God, whatever he had planned for me at that point in time would take root. And so at that point, I started learning about. I started learning about automation, systems, software, marketing strategy, sales strategy, all of the above and even more in terms of business. And I started to get to train and set up systems and software. And essentially, I became the automations guy on the team. So I had a choice, right? I could keep doing New Future Builder. And I got this broad thing that doesn't really make a ton of money right now. Or I do this thing's a little more niche, right? And I focus on this automation piece and I really just get good at it. Because before I put my head down, did all the work, and before it, time had, I seen how much time had passed and I got my head up above water, I realized I'd been in this automation thing for a while, right? Like at that point, it'd been a few years. I actually got good at knowing what I know understanding what I understand and, and mastering what I'd mastered, I actually knew some things that people did not know and were willing to pay for that they didn't have the know-how or they didn't have the time or the resources to do. I become an expert in it over the short period of time because I had got so deep in it. And in reality, I had really been studying this stuff prior to that in the midst of setting up my own business. There were things that I learned and I just really call it automation. I just called it setting up my business, right? Like, and it was no term for it that I understood at that point in time. It's just setting up my business. So it was a natural transition along with the fact that, you know, in college I did some computer programming and things like that. So I, I was somewhat familiar with technology and pretty much like a techie, uh, so to speak. And so it was a natural move for me to make. And so I found my niche, right? At least for now. And I can broaden back out and do some other things later. But it allowed me to find my niche at the time. And so um, what I'm saying in this is for you right now, you're looking at your brand. And your brand, you really may not understand or be sure what you need to do to have a brand that actually makes you money. And so many of you have a brand that really isn't doing anything. It isn't accumulating wealth. It isn't really speaking to the people you're supposed to serve. It really isn't solving the problems that people really need solved. Or it just sounds like everybody else. Okay. And so my suggestion to you is to find your niche and don't be afraid to switch out your brand. And again, it's not going to always be what you expect it to be, but, but just just I would say humor the process, humor the journey, humor the path that the Lord, that destiny, that fate is dragging you on and just give it a chance because you never know how it may end up. Just keep that in mind. Again, 
I'm Justin Morgan, founder of AutomationMastery.net. If you want to check out the event that I'm having in April, April, it's AMX 20, uh, AMX 20 Live, so the Automation Mastery Experience, um, plenty of stuff coming there. we more on that coming soon. Go ahead and check us out, AutomationMastery.net slash AMX 20. I think it's AMX 20 or AMX 2020, one of those two. But check it out. I appreciate you and all that you do. I will see you soon and see you in the next episode. And as usual, treat each day as a building block to a better future. Peace.